Hey guys, welcome back to another swatch video. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. If you have been with me, I thank you for your continued support. Today's video is about Revlon's Electric Shock Lip Lacquers. Here you go. So these are liquid lipsticks. I purchased these at Ulta. And online, there are four of them, but there are four of them now. But when I purchased them, there were five shades available. And recently I checked and there are only four shades there. So you might have to check back to, to peek and see when the six shades will be available. Because in their description, they do say that there are six shades available in the collection. But when I purchased them, there were only five shades available. And then I recently checked today and there are only four shades available. So I have no idea what's going on there. So you guys will just have to check the website to see what they have in stock. So let's just jump right into the swatches. First shade we're going to start with is this beautiful bright pink shade. This shade is called 100 Watts and it's a beautiful like electric pink like the name describes. That is really like an electric pink. Oh my gosh. This is definitely giving me metallic vibes. Just so you know, I have not dipped the wand back in the tube. This is just one application. And from what I can see, that's all you need. This is electrifying. That is crazy. Look how richly pigmented these are and just one application that just easily applied. Oh, I am electrified, like literally electrified at the results of this lipstick and it really dries immediately. I, wow, that is crazy. I absolutely love this shade. I love how it feels. I love how it looks. I love how immediately it dries, but it doesn't feel mattifying. And I don't feel like my lips are about to crack. These feel great. I love this shade. If you like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Well, that was a super fun shade to swatch. So next shade up is a purple shade. I love fuchsias. They're like a great mix of pinks and purples. And if I haven't mentioned it yet, these don't have any particular scent. They just smell pretty, they smell like nothing to me. And um, let's see what the hand swatch looks like. The way this formula just glides on my lips, it's unbelievable. I mean, these are described as somewhat of a liquid metallic and they just apply so smoothly for being a metallic lipstick. Sometimes, a lot of the times, metallics are not the easiest to apply because they dry so quickly and sometimes they have too much glitter in there or metallic properties in them that they're not sometimes the easiest to apply and the easiest to wear. But boy, do I love this shade. Oh my gosh. It's, I didn't think I would like these because I don't particularly wear metallics very often. I am amazed, like I am shocked, you get it, electric shock. I am so shocked that I'm liking these right now because I normally don't wear metallics and I know I'm not the only one 
who feel that way about metallics just because they're not the most easy to wear but so far i am loving these liquid lipsticks Also, if you were wondering, these are not that hard to remove. They dry down pretty quickly, but they're not that hard to remove. You will not need any oil base to remove these because they work pretty well with your makeup wipe. So I would say that's pretty sufficient. They do leave behind some of the metallic or shimmer residue on your lips but that's normally expected with any type of shimmer, gloss, or lipstick. So it's not really a big deal. But just so you know, they do come off pretty easily with just the makeup wipes. And it also does leave a little bit of a stain behind, which to me is a good sign because that means it's gonna be a long lasting lipstick. So that previous shade was actually called Fuchsia Fuse. And now we're moving into this beautiful violet color called Unplugged Violet. Whoa. So I think I might need one more layer with this one. So, so far this is the only one that I'm going to dip back in the tube because I feel like I didn't get enough coverage with this one. Somehow it's not covering my top lip the way I want it to. So it's looking a little bit patchy on my top lip. And I don't know if this is gonna fix it. Okay, I guess that worked. Nevertheless, it's a very electric violet color that is definitely loud and out there and not your typical everyday color. I don't think any of these shades are your typical everyday colors just because of the electric metallic effect that you get from them. They might just be a little bit too loud for your day-to-day -day activities. So yeah, I like the color, but it's just not for me and my regular regular life. So, but let me know how you feel about this electric violet shade. Fourth shade up is a teal color, and this is called Turned Up Teal. The funny thing about this shade is that it looks black online. So the color is a little bit off from what you see online and what it actually looks like. So, oh my, well it's a darker teal when it's swatched, interesting. So it even looks a little bit black, but as the light reflects it, then you can see you can see the teal in there. Whoa. Where would I wear this lipstick? It's giving me like a dark side, a venomous side, a poisonous side. I like it though. Is it weird that I like it? I think it's really sexy in a dark kind of way. This one is definitely out of my comfort zone, but I find it oddly attractive. I don't know, I like this lipstick in a weird, odd kind of way. It's a whole mood and a bag of chips and I am here for it. Oddly enough, I am very much here for it. I like it. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. Lastly, but not leastly, we have this red shade that's called Ruby Flash. Hmm. 
This, ladies and gentlemen, is Ruby Flash. Am I digging this color? Absolutely. I always say a red lipstick is a red lipstick and there is nothing bad I can say about this one. And also what I like about these is, or maybe this color in particular as well, is that the metallic effect in the formula is not overpowering. So if you look closely, it looks more like a high shine lipstick more than a metallic one. So I like the effect that I get from that. And shockingly, for a metallic finish lipstick, I do have to say, I am loving this shade. All right, so let's get into our recap of the Revlon Electric Shock Lip Lacquers. So first of all, the packaging, it feels pretty nice. I like that you can see the color straight from the tube. Um, that's always helpful when you don't have to guess what shade you're putting on. They also have a pretty decent shade range. They are five shades that I have here. However, on Ulta's website, they do say that there are six shade options available. I only found five, so we will have to check back and see what the other shade is. And these are not your standard everyday nine to five regular colors. They're loud and used to make a statement. So if you are looking for a statement making attention grabbing lipstick look, then these are what these lipsticks are for. Like the name says, they're supposed to give you that electric shock look they're supposed to be electrifying they are supposed to be the focal point of your makeup so if you know you're not going to have any use for these whatsoever then it pretty much doesn't make any sense for you to go and purchase them yeah like i said they're not your regular nine to five running errands type of lipstick these are on another level more like an electric level um, as far as the pricing goes, these are $2.97 on Ulta. So we love a bargain around here. We love affordable makeup. And $2.97 I think is pretty decent, especially because the formula, which we're jumping into right now, the formula is pretty amazing. I find that they apply really easily. There's no scent to them. I just love the smooth, shiny finish that I get from these, and they feel very comfortable. If you are familiar with how metallic lipsticks wear, sometimes, or a lot of the times, they do feel very uncomfortable as they dry, and as you continue to wear it throughout the day, they feel very un uncomfortable, and they start to get crumbly, and the lines in your lips are emphasized. It's just, never a good look but these i do not get that result from them i love the way they apply and that gives me a great insight as well of how they will wear throughout the day so let's just do a transfer test so there is little to no transfer with these you can see it was just the outline of my lips there very little to no transfer and i have my handy dandy yeti with my tea in there so you can see there is no transfer of these lipsticks so that's definitely a plus for me i like that a lot so yeah, if you are needing a statement making lipstick, I would say these are pretty awesome to try out. So overall, what do I think of the collection? I think it's a great set to try out. You don't have to try all of them, of course, but you know, if you're interested in a particular color, I would say go for it. I mean, they're only $2.97, so it's not a lot to lose if you think about it. But if you guys like this video, make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. 
so that you are always aware of my future lipstick swatch uploads. My next swatch video will be on the Stila Naked Truth Lip Duo. So if you're interested in seeing how these swatch, then you need to turn on your notification and subscribe. But with that said, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next swatch video. Bye.